So Donald Trump stinks. And I'm not just talking about his ideas or his abilities as a businessman or a president. Apparently, he literally stinks. Apparently, he has horrific body odor. Now, before I go any further, I'm not here to shame the elderly who, in some cases, has to wear diapers and things of that nature. That's, that's not what I'm here to do at all. But apparently, uh, Donald Trump's body odor is something to behold, and it's the talk of the Internet. But we all know how this is going to end. We know exactly what's going to come next. Just remember Brando called it. Donald Trump's response to this is going to be that he smells tremendous, that he has the most pleasant body odor, that he's been told he has the most pleasant body odor in the world, and he will come out with his own line of cologne. He'll have Trump cologne. He'll have Trump shampoo. He'll have Trump body wash. He'll have Trump air fresheners. He will, he will have Trump breath mints, and people will buy it up. Because every time something comes out on Donald Trump, he cashes in on it. This is the same guy that sold his mugshot and then turned around and sold pictures of the coat that he wore, the suit that he wore during the mugshot. This guy has no shame whatsoever. He is the ultimate grifter and the ultimate con man. He will capitalize on this moment and he will come out with his own line of shit. No pun intended. Because that's the kind of guy he is, and he has a built-in audience that can't wait to go out and spend their money on it. The same people who tells us the economy is in a shitter can spend thousands of dollars on Trump merch. Now, I started this video really just to pull y'all in because I knew if I start talking about his body odor, everybody will pay attention to what I got to say next. I want to talk more about Donald Trump and the illusion of winning. Because that's what he feeds his followers. He, he feeds them this illusion that they're winning. That with him, they can win. And with him, they can, they can somehow, their lives will be better. Well, they haven't actually won with him since 2016. They've lost in every election since. Their ideas are not near as popular as they think that they are. My question to his supporters is, what exactly did you win with Donald Trump? How did his presidency actually make your life any better one way or the other? And now I know what a lot of you is going to say. Well, but the gas prices was down. Inflation was down. My 401k was doing good. Those are going to be the things you point to. And those are the things that are temporary and they go up and down regardless of who the president is. For everybody that said, you know, Trump had low gas prices, Trump had low inflation. Well, okay, we came through a global pandemic. And yes, inflation did rise. The price of things went up. The price of gas went up because people started traveling again. Now everything's coming back down. Now inflation is coming back down. Now gas prices is dropping. If it was Joe Biden's fault that they went up, how come it's not Joe Biden's fault that they're coming down? Why does he get the blame for that and not the credit? You didn't think that one through. That's the problem with a lot of MAGA's talking points is they never think them through. They never realized that, hey, you said this last week and now you're saying this. See, the rest of us are set back. We're watching what he says. We're watching him set up these hoops for you to jump through. We're watching you jump through them and we're reminding you of the hoop you jumped through for him last week. And we come off like pompous assholes, I'm sure, because we're always pointing out the fact that you just stepped in another pile of shit. But if, it was, if, if everything was Joe Biden's fault, Donald Trump said, if Joe Biden's elected, the stock market's going to crash. Well, the stock market is reaching record highs. Now Trump is saying, well, that was his doing, that Joe Biden's just riding his coattail. So if Joe Biden's riding his coattail, why were things so bad? See, again, you guys never think these things through. What rights has been stripped away from you since Joe Biden took office if you are a white, straight male, middle-aged dude? What has been taken from you? Because I have a feeling tomorrow, if you decide you don't want no more kids, you just want to go have a vasectomy, you still have the right to go do that. You still have control over your own body. You still have control over your reproductive health. Women don't. You, 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 what, what business out there can discriminate against you because of who you are? What business can turn you away because you're straight? What business can say to you, you're not allowed in here because you're a straight man? You don't think these things through when you sit and say, oh, they're stripping our rights away. Oh, they're stripping our rights away. Which ones? Show me which ones they are. Oh, wait a minute. You got kicked off Twitter for using the N-word? That's, that's, that's what rights got took away from you? Oh, you, 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 you shared some, some factually misinformation 
and that that got flagged facebook put a little flag on that so that's them coming down on you is that what happened people like me calling you out is that what happened because i'm not seeing the rights that you're talking about that's been taken away you're still walking around living the same life you was living before Things are getting better for you, and you're not willing to recognize it. You're not willing to give Joe Biden any of the credit because your leader has told you that the only time you get a win is when he tells you you got it. You don't think you can't think for yourself and say, wait a minute, we are doing better. Wait a minute, things are improving. You can't do that because he won't allow you to. So it tells me that your allegiance isn't to America. Your, your, your allegiance isn't to us all doing better as a whole. It's just you and your little corner of the world and this illusion of winning that he has duped you into believing. But tell me, what, what has really happened to you that has been so bad? Other than you've not been allowed to shout down as many people as you would like to for other people calling you out for it. Well, go past the end of your driveway. Go past the end of the holler, past the dollar store, okay, and drive down to the big town, all right, and go out there and talk to other people and see how they're living. Don't just sit there and listen to other people tell you what they're going through. Why don't you sit down and sit across from a person of color and talk to them about what they actually go through and about how they live in this country and about the struggles they've faced? Why don't you sit across from a gay person, a trans person? Why don't you sit across from a pregnant woman who's been denied her reproductive rights and listen to them talk? Why don't you just stop talking and stop going for all your cliches and stop shouting every little catchphrase that he tells you to shout and just sit across from people and see what it is that they're really saying? Because if you would ever stop and pause and listen, you would realize, wait a minute, I've been driving back and forth to work every day, putting cheaper gas in my truck, and I'm still got, I still have the same rights that I had when this whole thing started, and these people over here don't. So, yeah. Donald Trump has bad body odor. I don't, I don't care. I, I really don't, one way or the other. I don't, I don't care if he smells like a bed of roses or a plate of dog shit. I don't care one way or the other. Because his politics is a plate of dog shit. His ideas is a plate of dog shit. What he has done to this country is a plate of dog shit. And that's what stinks to high heaven. I don't, I don't care about his odor because I'm never going to be around the guy. Wouldn't shake his hand if I had the opportunity. I would not want to be in the same room with him ever because I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to, to lower myself to, to that standard to shake hands with such a flaming pile of dog piss.